Ryan Windhorst, who has been great all year long on, and has since he's been with us covering the Cavaliers and particularly LeBron. What can you tell us about the, the health of James in this series? Yeah, Scott, um, LeBron James has been playing the last three games with a serious right hand injury that he suffered after punching a blackboard in the uh, locker room in Golden State following game one. He's had to have two MRIs on the hand. He's been in a soft cast um, when he's been away from uh, the media and away from practice, hasn't been practicing. Um, if we go back and look, I'm told during press conferences, including after game three, he's had his arm tucked in. And he didn't, you know, he's not using it now. He's, you know, he's certainly not letting it out now or anything because he wants there to be an excuse for how he played. Uh, he, they just kept it very tight because he didn't want the Warriors to have an advantage of knowledge. But um, game one, as it turns out, was costly, not just on the court, but off the court. And, and, and you can see it now when you look back at these last three games, just five of 19 shooting outside 10 feet. Tonight, as an example, he um, he didn't even uh, really shoot from the outside, just completely drove to the basket, also dealing with an ankle injury and stuff. But LeBron James, right hand injury severely hampered him the last few games. In fact, the swelling, Scott, was so bad after game one that the uh, imaging that they took couldn't even determine whether it was a break. So something he's going to be dealing with and a factor in this series for sure.